What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on the Subaru. We, uh, we finally bought some real brakes here. We got the AUK HP Plus pads and the StopTech slotted rotors. I was currently running drilled and slotted from R1 Concepts and they ended up warping. So I went through warranty, they sent me another set and they have warped again over the period of, you know, within two years having two sets of brake rotors. Uh, so we're gonna throw these on. Shout out to Gio for letting us use his garage again. It's always a, it's always a good time coming over here and hanging out. So ever since I had this car, these were the pads that I've always wanted to run but never did. So we got some brand new Hawk HP pads unboxing. They gave us a little sticker too, which is all bent up. We won't run it. But Hawk yeah. for the Hawk Eye. Hawk pads for the Hawk Eye. Built these myself. Did you really? Yeah. I took them apart and uh... maybe that's what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. I'm not gonna lie. No, you could be let this up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. You might be accurate on that. I'm excited to use these now. So a quick comparison between the Hawk pad and the, the cheap AutoZone pads. You can see here there's excess pad that wasn't used because it slants. As if you look at the Hawk, it's flat the whole way. So that's more braking surface and uh, it looks like it's made out of a different material too. It's just I think it might be ceramic. Yeah. So they're going to be a lot better than your little cheap AutoZone pads. And a little side note. This um, piece of metal right here, this is going to be your, how are they called? Warning. This is going to be your brake warning here. So you always put that to the back so that way it's, you know, it's in the way, it's out of the way and you can't see it. We got the rotor on, the the, uh, the Hawk pads are in. We're going to throw the wheel on. Geo's over on the other side. Got the car jacked up in the rear. Um, we got the rear caliper off, actually. But um, if you look, if you look in here, uh, yeah, the bolt broke, snapped. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have to drill out the rest of it. That's in the caliper. Luckily, it didn't break inside of the the actual threaded hole for the um, for the hub so 
We're gonna try and improvise, see what we can figure out. Uh, maybe drill it out, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. We're starting to drill out this bolt. The geo's drilling, I'm gonna take over in a minute. But it's almost gonna start. You need a new shield, dude. Yeah, it's rusted. Okay guys, so it's officially like midnight. I don't know the exact time, but we got the tires on the car. Um, I'm actually not gonna show you what we did to the caliper <laughs> because it's not very safe. So yeah, just know that I may or may not make it home tonight. So I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on that. And we're gonna have to either get a new well, I don't want to buy a new caliper because it's like 750 for the rear, one rear. Uh, so I'm gonna maybe try and get it retapped. Our little um, trick didn't work, so it, we tried. It was worth a try. So I'll keep you updated on that. But as far as the brakes, we'll see how they do on the way home. I'm not really gonna beat on them. I'm just gonna get him safe until this problem gets fixed. But I'd say the STI won tonight. It, it beat us up. So, until the next video, I'll see you guys. Wait, and, until, until next time, I'll see you guys later. So we're at Ryan's place right now. We got the wheel back off. Um, my battery's about to die, but Ryan, you think we're gonna be able to fix this? What do you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have busted through. Look at that. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Fresh. All that up. So it is a new day. The GoPro died. But just a little recap. Um, shout out to Ryan for helping me get the car fixed in a really fast, timely manner. A um, uh, quick recap here. We were you know, at Gio's house the bolt snapped inside of the, the caliper. We we drilled it out. We did everything we could to try and get something to work. We couldn't figure it out. It was like midnight. Um, all the stores were closed. We couldn't go get a tap kit. So I had to get the car home because I had to work the next morning, which was yesterday morning. I had to work, so I had to get the car home, but we put some wire ties in and we put a couple zip ties in. You can't go wrong with zip ties, right? So, the drive home was all highway. I didn't use the brakes at all. So I made the car home. The one bolt was really tight. We, we held the caliper on and it, the caliper didn't move at all. It was, it was snug, really nice. So even with one bolt in there, it was fine. Uh, drove it to work, drove it home, and then drove it over to Ryan's house. We drilled it out. We retapped the hole. We used a bigger bolt and everything's fine. The car's fine. Um, it's running good. I just broke in the brakes last night. We're gonna I'm gonna end up going out here in a minute and starting a new video. I'm gonna I'm gonna test the brakes out and Give you guys my reaction on how they really work because these are like the you know Some of the top-of-the-line brakes we went with the I already I already told you guys what we went with the stop tech rotors and the Hawk HP pads uh, so we're gonna go test them out, but What a catastrophe that was I'm glad it's over with. I'm glad it all worked out. Uh, so if you guys like today's video, as always, hit the like button for more screw ups because I'm sure there's plenty more to come. We have a lot coming for the car. Uh, so yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.